Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon, who's and hiding behind this crock pot. Oh, oh no, it's not a crock pot. It's a stock pot. Stock pot. I'm the crock pot. You are a crock. <laughs> anyway, so guys, we're so excited because today we're making one of our most, we say that all the time, but this really, this really is, is one, one of, of our favorites. favorites. Yes. It's so good. We are making our New Orleans red beans and rice. Yes. Now Yay. let's get going. All right, let's I... do it need this. You're hungry. I know. So am I. So let's get going. So we, you know, what would oh, red beans flavors. and rice be without red beans? So let me tell you what I've got here. I have got, this is a pound of red beans. Last night, before we went Betty by, I put a <laughs> pound of dried uh, red beans, just red kidney beans, in a pot, and I covered it with water and let those beans start to soak up that water, which is going to help with the cooking today. You can skip that. No, don't skip that sip. I would really strongly recommend that you Why don't would skip you skip it. it? Well, because you can cook these in the liquid dried for longer and they will eventually get. But I think for this particular dish, it's best if you soak them overnight. Okay. okay. Now, we're soak them. We actually went through three of these bags because we kept delaying this video. <laughs> anyway, so this is a pork shank. <laughs> oh. Pretty Don't much. shank me. Oh, shank off. <laughs> and so anyway, this is what this is. is this is the part of a pig where there, there's a little bit of bone, there's some muscle, some, you know, it's just, it's very flavorful. It's very meaty. You can use any kind of like a good old ham bone whenever you're doing like one of our pork roasts. Save that bone. That's so good. Um, and th th you can do anything that's going to add this flavor. You can use the ham. Actually, this is a ham hock. So um, these are just for flavor, right? This is for flavor. There is a lot of meat on there, so some of the meat's going to come oh, off as perfect. it simmers. And um, so... <laughs> I mean, you talk about adding flavor. It's adding that authentic flavor. Now, these are bay leaves. What would New Orleans Cajun cooking be without um, bay leaves? Bay leaves. I'm going to put those in the pot. Once I got, somebody yelled at me on the blog because I was confusing New Orleans with Cajun <laughs> cooking, and that's apparently a big no-no. I mean, when we go to, no, go to New Orleans, we get lots of Cajun cooking. But this is our New Orleans style, not to be confused with a Cajun. Yes. So, okay. This is a gallon and two cups of just water that's going to go oh, right. Oh, oh Chris. Boy. Let's have a bath. I had a shower today. Okay, well, you just had another one. <laughs> it's the fun of cooking with Chris and Wesley. I know. And oh, Flo. And the okay. dog is right. here. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this big old stock pot. Got it. This is a really big stock pot. You don't Hold have on, to Hold on, I want to show the people at home because I can't, my camera can't go up there. So let me see. What are you doing? I want to show them what's in the pot. You're checking your no. messages? I'm letting people see this. There it is. There's inside the pot. Yay! All right. Okay, that it. was a really great use of time. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put this on the back burner, <laughs> not to be forgotten, um, but I'm going to put it back here. And I'll clean up this mess. Turn the, meat, uh, turn the heat on pretty high because I want to bring that to a nice simmer. So now... I'm going to get started with the real flavor enhancers of what makes this so delicious and just makes it explode in your mouth. Yes. Okay, so I was going to have this skillet on, and okay. I didn't. You okay. can talk about how much we love red beans and rice. I know. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a half a pound of smoked ham. Ugh. And what I've done Ooh. is I have, I've cubed it, and I'm, it's just delicious. It's wonderful. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that in a medium, well, no, a pretty large skillet, and we're going to cook it over medium-high heat. Now this, this is Louisiana through and through. This is um, andouille sausage. Ooh. It's uh, pork sausage that's got these incredible Louisiana, Cajun, mm. whatever you want to call it, but it's super delicious. Right. I'm going to put that right in there, okay? Yeah, I know. You, smell, you smell a ham, dog. I know. We got, we, this, <laughs> this house is full of hams, I'll tell you that much. All right, so these are going to cook, and I'm going to just, I mean, these are already smoked, so they're pretty much edible as is, but I like to crisp them up and really bring out that flavor. So mm. um, this is going to cook for about five minutes, and then we're going to add some more stuff to this that's just going to put it through the roof. Yay! It oh. smells good. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good. I know. You know what it reminds me of? It smells like, like a country breakfast ah. when you've got... Ham, totally. Ham, I know. It's so good. Oh. With a little bit of kick with the andouille oh, sauce. Oh, no. I right. need some hash browns. I uh, know. But this is going to be so good. So now, as you can see, this is starting to get nice and browned and beautifully oh. crisp and just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Hi, Flo. Flo has assumed her place. Okay. So now I've got one whole onion that I have just, I've kind of roughly chopped. It doesn't have to be super diced because it's going to cook down. And um, we're just going to add got that. got some popping going it's on It's got over some popping sausage. <laughs> And uh, we're going to just let, cook this until it starts to soften a little bit. And then we are going to add 
the rest of our vegetables and aromatics. That's going to go into the big pot and then it's going to simmer for a few hours and we're going to show you how to make perfectly steamed rice mm. and then it's going to be time to eat. Oh, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Okay, so now we're gonna really, really get this going like yes. crazy. So now what I've got, I've got one um, whole jalapeno that I have seeded. I took the ribs and the seeds out. If you like it really spicy, you can leave that in. What are you doing? I want people to be able to see okay. where that dog is. And then I've got a whole tomato that I have, again, seeded and I've diced. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, this, this is not only incredibly delicious but it's a beautiful uh, it's a beautiful dish as it well it's so good this is six cloves of garlic love it that we have diced mm. and now we're this is what i think really makes it just incredibly new orleans and so fantastic this is cajun cajun whole grain <laughs> mustard um, now if you can't find cajun um, or new orleans you could just eat good old whole grain mustard. Got it. Either way. A lot of northern folk don't have the, the I know. The when we mustard. lived in New Jersey and I made this, I, I could never find it. I mean, I would order it online, of course. But now that we live in Texas, no problem. Okay. That is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. And now I've got a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. If you think it smells good now, just wait. Mm. And then I've got a nice a bowl here of seasonings. And uh, go to How to Feed a Loon to get the exact measurement. But it's oh. salt, freshly, freshly ground black pepper, cayenne. You got to have cayenne and um, some thyme, some dried thyme seeds. Now, this is all going to go into the party together. Mm. And this is ridiculously. I can't even believe how good this smells, right? I know, I know. <laughs> it's sort of crazy. Okay, so now we're just going to cook this. I would say another five minutes. Just let those peppers start to soften. And then, like I said, this is going to go into the pot with the beans and the ham hocks. Ham hocks. And, um, and then we're going to let it simmer. Oh. Oh. I don't know what you've been, but ah. this is good bean <laughs> and red, red bean. rice. <laughs> anyway, not red rice. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so incredible. Oh, this smells it's so good. I wish amazing. you guys were here to smell this. I know. Come on over. Oh. All right. So let me tell you real quick. So this this uh, cooked on the stove for about. I let it go about two hours and forty five minutes. You can start testing the beans after about two and two ish hours. It was excruciating. Um, it was excruciating because it just smells <laughs> better and better. It's amazing. And um, so uh, right towards the end. What I did was I got some tongs and I removed those <laughs> ham shanks um, out of the out of the pot. My big old gigantic stock pot. It's so big, I just I love it. We're in a big soup kitchen. I know it. You can go big or go home. <laughs> and so I, you know, then I fish dry because because those are slow cooked. Sometimes the bones come across, come out. So um, you know, make sure you get all that out. The dog and, is um, here. High flow. And um, so then what I, what I love to do in, in the final minutes of cooking, you know, the, the beans are, are obviously become really soft. So you can take a wooden spoon like this and kind of smash them along the side if you want. It kind of helps make it nice and creamy. But, um, oh, to yeah. add a little thickness to it. It just it thickens it up a little bit. I was wondering why you did that. Well, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so red beans and rice, it, it is going to have a little bit of liquid to it, but that's good because we're going to yeah, use this lovely this amazing, rice. The rice part of red rice and beans. Mm -hmm. I keep saying red rice. Red, red beans, beans and, and rice. rice. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so what the way I love to do this is mm -hmm. get a nice um, spoonful of that and just put it right in the middle I'm of gonna that do it. bowl. And while he's doing that, let me tell you how I made this steamed rice. Steamed rice is the way to go uh, when you're cooking Cajun, when you're cooking New Orleans. It's sticky. It absorbs yes. all of that deliciousness. What I did this was I got um, a medium-sized saucepan. I can't talk. And then I got a cup of long grain rice and then a cup and a half of water, two bay leaves, a nice healthy pinch of, of salt, salt, and then I crank that heat and then I let that come to a boil. As soon as that came to a boil, put I put lid a on lid it. on nice and tight, turn the heat way down to low, and then I let it simmer very low, don't lift it up, for 20 minutes. And then at the end of 20 minutes, you take the top off. Well, no, actually, I'm sorry, you don't take the top off. You let it sit for about five minutes, 
Then you take, then the, you top take the top off, off, and then you fluff it around. You're all, eventually, you're going to want to take those uh, bay leaves out of there. Um, but, <laughs> I said, then you take your top off. Well, no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's later. Well, that's, um, you know, that's the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to take oh, this. Oh, yes. And you can kind of use a ladle to get, you know, kind of navigate <laughs> how much juice you want to have. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> so like I said, I like to fill the sides with the meaty yes. and the beans, get all that, get a nice kind of a side, oh, <laughs> side show going here. And Be then careful. we're going to, oh, you're a lefty. I know, this is hard to handle. I'm very <laughs> Can hard for you. Oh, and you've got that faulty arm of yours. Yeah, well, it's, it, it knows how to make a <laughs> good, let me. No, I think you're pretty I good. just a little more juice. All right, I know, the, the, that. That liquid mm, and that rice just okay. soaks it all up. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now that's wonderful. Okay. Now it's all you know. You want to have a little garnish on this. We love some sliced yes. green scallions. Just like to sprinkle them all over the place. And I think one of the most quintessential um, ingredients in New Orleans Cajun cooking is hot sauce. Some good old hot sauce. <laughs> this is Crystal's. Yes. We get the. We even we live in Texas now. We still can't even find it down here, but we can get it in. in um, Louisiana, so we order it. We order it by the case. Load. I can't talk because I'm salivating. Here, put a little more on. Oh. I mean, more on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, oh, oh my gosh, I look think at it's that. Time for you to I'm sorry. I'm I'm doing. I mean, this is this is what I do. I mix my rice with everything. Well, okay. Then just mm. eat it. Just Ooh. eat it. Yeah, you got to get some of that andouille. Some... Oh lord. Oh. 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 It's getting crazy around here. What's your and doing later? <laughs> it's everything you remember and more, right? It is. It is oh. just. I know. It warms your cockles. My cockles are warm. <laughs> I think we cooked it with some cockles. Oh, that is so good. I know. Oh, and the oh, the loveliness of like I said, it just warms you it's right warm. up. I know, I know. Oh, and that broth and the the what you oh, what you did to it with the ham bone or the no, you shank. can really taste the ham shank and the deep so much the flavor slow simmer. I know. Oh, now that is one hundred percent loon approved. That's well, gnarly <laughs> style. <laughs> really, well, I, I don't know if I agree with that, but I'm gonna dig right in because. This is yes. this is one of my favorite all time dishes. Oh y'all, this is so good. It just makes you feel like you're mm. like you're American. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, now down you can, south. Now you can get this recipe mm. and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. That's right, and please do us a favor. Go to all of our social media. And, well, mm. you know, make this first, then go to our social media and like us and share yes. us and do all of that and have some red beans and rice. It's so on us. Good. So mm. good. Oh my god. Bye. That what do so... they say in New Orleans? Hop, 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 hop. See you later in the herd of herd of hater. I think they just say bye. <laughs> bye. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>